Hey guys, I've had a lot of requests for the plans for the tube bend that I made. So I thought I would uh, do up some plans and just uh, quickly go through them with you so you can make a tube bender for yourself. Alright, so if you haven't seen my previous video on this, I've got a couple of videos on how not to build a tube bender. Uh, trying to modify a pipe bender that just didn't work, so that could save you possibly a, a lot of headache there, uh, seeing the headaches that I went through. And, uh, and also I show you, it showed you exactly how I built this one I have. One of the biggest issues I had with making up plans is I've got plans for making one fitting my bottle jack. Now this is all working around this particular die, which is the one and three quarter inch die from the affordable bender. So. Uh, these plans are designed around that, but I've actually drawn up some plans now and you can get them from down in the uh, description down below in this video. Uh, I've made them available to you and I've gone through the whole thing uh, to try and make it so it's a simple process so you can build your own roll cage like the, uh, the half cage I built here for my old 911. But of course start with a half cage and you can build a full cage, bolt in, weld in, whatever you choose to do. With these plans, first of all, a diagram showing you exactly what is where and what I've named things, so make it uh, nice and easy for you. And, and also, the measurements you need to make to uh, measure your bottle jack so that you can adjust the size of the bender so it fits your bottle jack. I've also done here uh, some step-by-step -step plans. There is some mass involved, I'm sorry guys, but uh, I've kept it as simple as possible. I've worked through the example and shown you how I've done it for, for my bender, so hopefully you can use the same principles and work out your own. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll see if I can uh, help you guys out. First of all, we'll go through my plans and I've done it as a step-by-step -step process. Uh, so the first thing you really need to do is to measure up your bottle jack itself. You want to measure the total overall height to the very top of the jack, from the top to the base. That is your overall height, which I've called X. Uh, you want to measure your width, including this jacking lever, which is Y. And you want to also measure from the center line of your jack to the back edge of the jack. So the opposite end to the jacking point is what I call the back edge and that is your Z measurement. I did also note that on the top of the, the bender here, I've actually welded onto the square tube a piece of three mil angle iron that uh, reinforces this whole top plate because obviously with the jack, all of the force is going into this top plate, so you want it nice and strong. So it may be a bit of overkill, but that's the way I've done it. So it will withstand all the forces involved. As for the mounting cup, which the neck of the ram from your bottle jack sits into, I've doubled it up, I've got two pieces of pipe inside each other, welded together to make that extra strong because that's taking the full brunt of the force of the bottle jack from the shoulder of the bottle jack, pushing up into the bender itself. Another thing you have to note is that when this is pushing down, as the bender moves, this actually pivots slightly on this point. So it does pivot as it's pushing down. It'll grow one way and then gradually move around to the other. If you go too far, it's gonna start trying to bend on an angle and this has to be quite strong because it is pushing and I did, uh, in my early stages, I did bend some of these, so that's why it's doubly reinforced because there is a lot of force involved in this process. So also be really careful because there is a lot of force involved. So make sure you really take your time and care in building this. This is a suggestion. It's all up to you guys what you do. Uh, if you're not confident in building uh, something like this and in welding something like this, uh, please don't attempt it because this stuff can be dangerous. So uh, yeah, just take all necessary care you can. Okay guys, hopefully uh, this has been helpful in addition to my other videos. Going through a little bit more detail on building the bender and I said the plans should be there in the description underneath, um, which you guys are welcome to. And if you've got any suggestions or any tips, 
please let me know in the comments below. I can alter the plans if uh, they require it. I said there's a little bit of maths in there. If somebody can make things a little bit simpler for other people, let me know. I'll happily change it all. Uh, just to make this uh, an easy process for everybody who's interested. Alright guys, well, if you're enjoying uh, my series of videos, please like and subscribe to my channel, Home Built by Jeff, and uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. Thanks guys.